so guys it's the next day and i'm a little sad guys look garden starting video has continued into a landscaping video because we are going to be planting our sunflowers in the ground in front of our yard and over there we're kind of gonna put the the raised garden beds there but we're not sure yet so all of this is like it's gonna be a lot of videos like you'll see me in different clothes because it's gonna be another day the raised garden beds the ones over there that I'm doing that video obviously is already up and I will leave it in the cards for you guys if you guys want to go check out how we did those boxes out of pallets crepe pallets pallets both decided to fix the garden section first and that's what we are doing here and um, my boyfriend and my two boys help to remove all of the grass and rocks and other random stuff that's in there and um, we just used a rake and shovel to kind of level it, level it out and it took us about two hours while we took breaks in between because it was pretty hot outside but this is how it looks without any weeds and we kind of leveled it out not all the way I'll be using this pile of leaves and all of the sticks to fill in my garden bed later. There was so much rocks, guys, that we also found a hammer in there. Can you guys believe that? So that's the end of today's video. Tomorrow we will be going to pick up our free mulch that we found on Offer. It's the next day and we went to pick up the mulch. And this is everything that we picked up and this isn't everything we have the other half on the side where we're gonna do the front one but i will leave like a super quick little clip of when we went to pick it up the we found it on a facebook marketplace and the guy was giving it all away for free so if this isn't enough then we'll um go back and get some more because he had a lot of them but today um we're gonna try to finish everything Now we're gonna put the mulch in and we're gonna kind of layer it a little bit or just fill it in fill it in all the way and then we'll be back to show you guys how it looks So now we are going to fill the garden beds and kind of organize everything over there. But um, yeah, so we gotta see. Hopefully I have space for everything. I need to go look for a um, couple of uh, five gallon buckets. Um, yeah, so we're, we're doing progress. We're there, we're almost there, okay? This is the best part of this whole process, guys planting our veggies in the garden bed how adorable are these garden beds that i made from crepe pallets which i will leave the link in the description below if you guys again want to go watch it the first thing that we're gonna do is i went ahead and made like a blueprint and designated a space for each plant and this is the blueprint that i drew 
or made on the computer um, in this garden bed specifically I'll be putting sage dill parsley chives and basils each herb will get a square feet or 12 inch by 12 inch except for the basils which will get two squares now that we have our setup let's plant So guys, I have already put the mulch in and this is how it looks. And yeah, I ran out of um, potting soil so I'm going to go either later today if not tomorrow to get more so then we can finish the other three that we have. But this is how the first one looks. So it's been a couple of days and I know I had filled this whole thing up with kale but as you can tell they didn't really like the smaller ones did not um, grow they kind of died so we've got two kales over there and then these two are bell peppers so so far it's been in here for about three or four days and it's doing good
so guys this one it kind of took me a little longer because I, I was debating if i should put all of the mescla mix together with the um, what was the other one so the microgreens i'm gonna keep it in there since there is a lot of them and i want to put mulch around it so i'm gonna pick out the big ones and then kind of leave it there probably right next to it but then this is how it's gonna look i kind of try to put it in like rows and then um put mulch around that and then the new seeds that i put i'm gonna just leave it like that until i start seeing them it's the end of today and and ju that's just because it's gonna be dark it's already almost gonna be eight o'clock so um tomorrow i will finish the last one and i have to build the box for it so that goes there so guys it's the next day and i'm a little sad guys look what happened to all of my mescla mix they're all sad i don't know what happened all of the other transfers went perfectly hopefully they um i gave it some water and hopefully you know it goes back up but if not you know i already planted a lot of seeds here so i'll have to wait for those to grow if those don't recover but i'm a little bummed out but um you know you learn from it hopefully in a couple of hours um it does go you know get all of the water that i put in there so i'll give you guys an update on this but today i am going to be working on the last um raised bed that i'm gonna put right there and then um paint it and all of that and then bring you guys to fill it in which i'm not sure what i want to fill in there but i know i have one two three four of those that's the only things left to plant there and then i might pick up um like i think it was oregano uh that i'm missing that i actually wanted to get i don't know so guys this is like day four of non-stop raining like i haven't even been able to finish because it's been raining for the past four days hopefully it dies down so then i can finish my last um raised bed so i can give you guys a whole tour but i'm not sure about this weather so i will be back uh, like I said, it's been four days, so hopefully um, it gets sunny and it stays sunny tomorrow. Okay, guys, so after I don't know how many days of rain, it's probably been raining for like five days straight. Today is the first day that it hasn't rained. It is going to rain, but later tonight. And um, I went ahead and filled our last raised bed. And in this one... We've got our onion, our rosemary, and then all of these. There, I have to plant seeds because the the um, transplant died before I could finish it. So I have to plant some more. But I do have right there. I do have um, some rosemary to put some more there, and then I think oregano, and then my microgreens. I have like another little. Um, like small raised bed that I want to put right there to put those in because they died also but yeah so let me go ahead and put those in and then show you guys the microgreens so guys we are done filling our raised beds and I am gonna go closer to give you guys a closer look basically so in this first one right here we have our sweet basils, our parsley, chives, sage, and dill. I'm pretty sure these right here are not dill, but I might just leave it there for now. So in this second raised bed, this is more like my tea section. So there I got lemon balm, which are finally growing. I put some seeds the other day. Our peppermint, I put also seeds in there and I see a couple of them. Our lavender, and this one is spearmint, which is growing beautifully. Our chamomile, 
and then right here i used to have i think the rosemary but i put it in the other um raised bed because in this one i want to add another um tea so let me know in the comment section below any other teas that would be good to plant and then here is all of our mescla mix and they are doing beautifully growing and all of the little seedlings have started to sprout and i'm gonna let it get a little bigger before i pick out um to you know give them some space between each other but that's our mescla mix and in this small raised bed this is our microgreens this one is the mild one and that's the spicy one and i just put seeds in so hopefully they grow in the other side right here we've got our two kale and our two bell peppers right there right here is all of our strawberries and there used to be one more right there but i'm not sure it died off so i pulled it off but the rest are growing beautifully and then in this last one we've got our onion our rosemary and then these all of these right here i have to like go get the seeds but plant it but that's how that one looks and that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was a little long but thank you guys for staying with me and in my next video i will um plant all of the cucumbers um and these bell peppers right here and extra cucumbers into five gallon buckets and we are going to transfer these two into five gallon buckets also and treat it because, you know, I might get some fish fertilizer to treat this because it's kind of purpling a little bit. So I'm going to get, I'm going to treat that one. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.